April is here, and that means it's Nintendo Direct rumor time? Okay, no, no, no. The rumors already exist. Actually, this is Nintendo Direct speculation time. In fact, if there is a Nintendo Direct this month, which I do firmly believe there is, I might even have a little minor source of my own on this one. Uh, what can we expect in an April Direct versus what do I actually want in a Nintendo Direct? And you can bet that basically the entire Direct is going to be about this. I mean, come on now. It's the Nintendo Switch. This is what we're here for every day, right? Uh, so... Let's get into things that I actually expect to be in this Direct in some form or some way. And the first thing is I do kind of expect them to have something here in Nintendo of America for Reggie fils -Aimé. For those who don't know, he leaves on April 15th. And the last time we've even seen him publicly in a video form was basically the announcement that Doug Bowser was going to be taking over for him on April 15th that he put out on all of the social media platforms. So what we should be expecting at this point is at least one more appearance for Reggie. And I think it's only fitting that Reggie gets one last hurrah in a Nintendo Direct in Nintendo of America, maybe as a transition to be like, hey, here's Doug Bowser. But I do think, I don't know what it's going to be, but I do think that Reggie fils is going to leave his position at Nintendo on a high note and drop a reveal for a much anticipated game. I know a lot of people are hoping it's Mother 3 because Reggie's been talking and asked about Mother 3 for many, many years. I don't know that it's going to be that, but I do think he's going to announce something, show something, and basically have a big thank you to the fans all over again. Again, this will just be in the Nintendo of America version. It is not unheard of for even though there to be like a worldwide direct for the country specific directs to have individual segments that are exclusive to those countries. I think this would be like an exclusive thing for Reggie fils to have his final goodbye with one last gift to the fans. Heck, that gift might be just dropping SNES games on the Switch. I don't know. Uh, maybe it's not a gift from Reggie, but he hands it to Doug Bowser who drops the gift. Either way, something's going to happen, I think, in regards to that. Just because they thought it was such a big enough deal that Reggie was moving on to even do an individual video announcing it. So I do think he will appear in one last Nintendo Direct just to, I don't know, I guess say goodbye for the final time. All right, now, that aside, a little bit of a sad thing. Um, we're obviously going to get a Smash Bros. update. We are going to get the release date for Joker. It's happening. We know what Joker's coming this month. Sakurai has reminded everyone this week that it's coming soon. So, yeah, Joker is going to have his release date announced. I also think they're going to talk about some other things that are coming in this big Smash 3.0, something like that, update. Uh, and we've heard you know, rumors out there about maybe Break the Targets, Home Run Battles coming back. I'm not sure what those are going to be, but I feel like we're going to get more than just Joker and associated stages and stuff. I think there's going to be new modes added to the game for free. So, uh, yeah, we're going to hear about that stuff. And potentially, they could talk about a newcomer for the next DLC. If you think about it, there wasn't a lot of distance between when we found out about Piranha Plant than when we found out about Joker. So I feel like once we know when Joker is coming, that's when it's time to tell us who's coming after Joker. So uh, we'll have to wait and see. They might not actually unveil that. That part of it is a little iffy for me. But it feels like it might be a good time to do it because, hey, we've been talking about the Joker DLC for months. I think it's time for us to talk about the next piece of DLC for Smash Bros, especially if it's a big name character from an IP that's never been represented in the game. Now, I, here's a, another given. I think we're going to see Super Mario uh, Maker 2 again, and I think the biggest thing we're going to get out of this is a release date. I don't know that the trailer is going to be super long, but it is slated to come out in June, and it would make a lot of sense for them to unveil the release date before we actually get to June. So, yeah, I think Super Mario Maker 2's release date will be dropped this month in a Nintendo Direct. I also think one other game that we know a lot about, but we... We haven't really heard anything about it since they dropped the demo, is Damon X Machina. Yes, I do think they are going to finally give us a release date that's not just summer 2019 for Damon X Machina. They dropped the demo last time. All right, they got all the feedback from the demo. Now they can kind of game plan for when they want to release this bad boy. So I do think they're going to announce that it's going to be coming either in early or late June. I think Super Mario Maker is going to be on the opposite end of whenever that game comes in that month. So yeah, I think we're going to get a release date for that and it's going to end up being early summer especially since we already know fire emblem drops in july now beyond that marvel ultimate alliance 3 yeah that game that game that 
we don't seem to talk about enough at this channel. I think that's going to have its release date announced as well. I don't know if it's necessarily going to be a June game. I definitely don't think it's coming in May because they said summer. So I do think that might potentially be a July game. But again, I think the release date is going to be announced because I don't think they're going to focus on Marvel Ultimate Alliance 3 at E3. I think that's kind of the theme of this Direct is going to be games we're not focusing on at E3. We're going to reveal the release dates, at least now, and we can hype them up as we get closer to that release. So not that they're not going to talk about or show those games at E3, just that they're not going to focus E3 around these games. And not having a release date for games coming in summer would mean they're probably going to have a huge focus for that at E3 unless there's been delayed, and we haven't heard anything to be delayed at this point. Now, at the Nindy Showcase, they showed off Cadence of Hyrule, right? That, that Necromancer or Necrodancer. I know, right? I always want to say Necromancer. The Necrodancer, the Crypt of the Necrodancer game, crossover with Legend of Zelda. We didn't get a release date for it. It's just spring 2019. So, yeah, they're dropping a release date. Wouldn't be surprised if it's even a shadow drop. Would be weird, right? Because, you know, there's some presumptions. There might be a physical version because it's Zelda. But, honestly, we don't know. Nintendo has, like, never crossed over with an indie game in this fashion before so we don't actually know we're in uncharted territory here don't be surprised if it's just shadow dropped in fact reggie as i talked about earlier one of his favorite franchises is the legend of zelda so for him to shadow drop cadence of hyrule would be pretty cool that potentially could be what he does but i don't know either way we're getting a release date for cadence of hyrule even if it's not shadow dropped just these are like things you really should be expecting out of this direct uh beyond that There'll be a montage of some sort. They're going to show off a montage of games coming in April and May. So, you know, Mortal Kombat and Dragon's Dogma and all those Resident Evil games, some of the Final Fantasy stuff, etc. There's a bunch of games coming over the next couple months from third parties that are like older ports So I, and plus Mortal Kombat. So I feel like while none of those games are going to get any individual attention at the Direct, I do think that they're going to, they're going to just be a bunch of montages of showing off, hey, look, here's all the other games coming up really, really soon with a montage of release dates. Um, beyond that, I think there will be one new major third-party game announced. I don't know what this third-party game is going to be, but I think this is going to be a la last year's one when they had that Nintendo Direct Mini and they dropped Dark Souls Remastered at the end. I think there's going to be a major reveal at the end. I'm leaning towards Persona 5, but again, we don't know what it could be. It could be anything, but Persona 5 to me feels like a natural slot for this point, especially if it's going to be the version that's coming to PlayStation 4 soon, uh, the, the Persona 5 R, and maybe it's going to be day and date drop, so they were waiting for this Direct to announce it, especially with the Joker DLC being in this Direct. I think that makes a lot of sense, but again, it might not be coming to Switch at all. We just have rumors and speculation, so uh, it could be anything, but I do think a major third-party game uh, is something we should expect to be announced, or at least a semi-major one. Like, was Dark Souls Remastered considered major? I thought it was at the time, anyways. So I think that's going to be dropped at the end of this one, uh, and I don't know if that's going to be like, oh, it's coming soon, or is it going to come later this year? But uh, I think something's going to be brought up about a major third-party game. And that's really all I think we should expect. Now, going on from expectations, there's things I want to see. Um, Apex Legends. Uh, they're now porting it to phones. We've seen demos of it on phones. I think that's going to come to Switch at some point, but why not now? Like, I really want to see Apex Legends on phones. I don't think we should expect this in this Direct, but I think it would be a great announcement, uh, especially since Nintendo has seen how successful Fortnite has been on their platform, along with all the other amazing free-to-play games that Switch has. Apex Legends just fits right in with that and would just be more and more success on the Switch. Like, there'll be millions of people on Switch playing Apex Legends, so I do think they need to bring that over, and it shows more of a good faith movement between, you know, EA and Nintendo, and it uses the Frostbite engine, and there's rumors about the Frostbite engine being ported to the Switch. Might be a nice time to unveil it. I want to see that be a thing. Don't think it should be a major focus at E3, but I do think Apex Legends, I would like to see that announced in this Direct. I don't think it's going to happen, but again, this is what I want to happen in addition to all the things I do expect. Uh, I want to see a first look at Animal Crossing. Look, we don't know when Animal Crossing is coming. It's still just 2019, not summer, not fall, not end of year, just 2019, and we haven't seen anything. We saw a pre-rendered CGI scene of Tom Nook announcing that it was coming last year, and that's it. It's been dead silent since. I'm actually worried that Animal Crossing could be delayed out of this year. Not that it would be the worst thing in the world because there's so many amazing games coming this year, but man, people have been waiting a long time for a new core Animal Crossing game. So I don't want to see it delayed. I want to see them show confidence in the game and actually show the game off now. If it's coming this year, they have to have something to show by now, right? Like you can't just be trying to cobble together the game in six months. So I think they have something to show if it really is coming this year. 
and I would love to see it now. I think they might be waiting for E3. I think this is an E3 unveiling they want to do of the gameplay and be like, hey, this will be another big holiday title to pair with Pokemon. But I honestly want it to be shown now. Uh, maybe it's just because I'm worried about the game. I don't know. But we haven't seen any, even, even a gameplay trailer. We already know it exists, so it's not a new announcement. So I really just want to see gameplay of it. I don't think it's going to happen. But please, Nintendo. Please. Please. Okay. This next one I think is a little more plausible. We've already seen gameplay. So uh, they took this bad boy out and they showed us Luigi's Mansion 3, right? They showed us a little gameplay trailer. I want to see Luigi's Mansion 3 again. I want to see more gameplay. I want to see what makes this stand out in compared to the prior Luigi's Mansion games. And is it more like Luigi's Mansion 1? Is it more like Luigi's Mansion 2? Or is it like a completely different thing doing something on its own? I want to see more of it. Um, they've already shown a decent amount of gameplay at the reveal. So let's just see some more of it. And let's, I don't know. I mean, I want, to, I want a release date to be honest. But I think the release date will be safe for E3. But whatever, I don't really care. I, I just want to see more of Luigi's Mansion 3. I don't know, maybe I'm expecting too much here. This isn't even an expectation, this is a want, so whatever. You know what else I really, really want to see announced for Switch that isn't going to happen, but I can dream, so let me dream, Skull and Bones. Look, I realize that Ubisoft has not brought Assassin's Creed or The Division or any of these other major games they have to Switch, right? It's been Mario plus Rabbids Kingdom Battle, uh, some old Wii U ports, and that's pretty much been it. We have Assassin's Creed 3 coming, but, I mean, it's not the same thing as bringing over Black Flag or bringing over Odyssey or whatever. And we have the streaming game service in Japan, but, again, not the same thing as bringing over a full game natively on the platform. So why Skull and Bones? Well, they announced Skull and Bones years ago. Hasn't come out. It's built on the backbone of the ship system that was in Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag, which was on Wii U. And it's considered a new IP. They're not really attaching it to Assassin's Creed. It's a brand new IP. And as a brand new IP, why not have it launch on Switch as well? You don't know what platforms Skull and Bones is going to be most successful on. So as a new IP, and maybe they get confidence because of Starlink Battle for Atlas's performance on Switch being better than the other platforms, that maybe, just maybe, I have a little bit of hope, a little bit of hope that Skull and Bones might actually be announced for Nintendo Switch. I don't think it's going to happen, but these are my wants. These are my desires. So Skull and Bones, yes, I want that to be the major third-party game talked about uh, that I think they're going to unveil. Beyond that, I do want to see some more of Doom Eternal. Look, we've seen a lot of Doom Eternal. Uh, we pretty much know what the game's going to be at this point. It's more Doom, and more Doom is glorious. But we haven't seen a ton of Switch footage of the game. So I think seeing some Doom Eternal and... Assuring people that maybe it looks better or performs better than the prior Doom game on Switch, uh, I think is something that I would like to see happen that needs to happen. It's probably not going to happen because they've been kind of advertising Doom on its own, so I don't think it's going to be shown here. But you know what? I don't care. I would like to see it. Again, my wants and my desires, not what I actually think is going to happen. SNES games. I talked about how Reggie might ghost drop SNES games. I don't really know. I don't expect SNES games to actually be talked about in this direct, but I want them to be talked about. So SNES games, bring them to the service, please. Now, this last one is one that, again, I think is the most far-fetched of all of them. Haha, <laughs> not the Pokemon. Just, uh, just far-fetched in general. UI fixes. Now, when I say UI fixes, that's not to say that the Switch UI is bad, but that's to say that it could be better. Think about it. There are many of us at this point that own 40, 50, 60, 100 plus games on our Switch, both digitally and physically. So how about some folders, right? I might even get it into themes, which I think would be a great addition and a way for Nintendo to make extra money. But folders? I mean, we had it on Wii. So folders, please. I would love to see folders added to the system. I also think maybe announcing a much needed update to the eShop where they start using like a Netflix style suggestion system where they're like, hey, based on your purchase history, based on the amount of hours you've played on certain games history, which is available locally on your Switch, these are the games we think you will also enjoy. Something like Netflix style with that to me makes a lot of sense. Now again, I don't expect any of these changes to actually be announced, nor basically from Apex Legends on down, None of this, I think, is going to actually be talked about at this Direct, and I think that's putting too much expectations on it. But hey, I can dream a little, right? I mean, we're going to see Super Mario Maker for sure, so like, I, I, we can dream. Let me dream, okay? Now, that's going to do it for my wants, my desires, and my expectations for an April Direct. But now, I toss over the mic to you guys. Go down in the comment section and let me know what games you would like to see in an April Direct. 
Direct. Are there some more indie games you want to see some release dates for? Some more third-party games? Are there other games you're hoping to maybe hear a little bit more about? There's a bunch of games I didn't even talk about that we know. Like, like do you guys know that video I made? In fact, hey, check up here. Like, there's a video where I talked about all the games coming out in 2019. And, like, there's, like, 40-plus games coming to Switch that are huge deals. And, oh, my gosh, the list seems to be expanding by the day. So, man, there could be a ton of games you want to know about that we could hear about in this Direct. But... I don't know. This is what I, I I want. Now I want to hear what you want. And uh, hey, keep dreaming. Fred Dreamcast guy. Calling you out. Dance off. Yes. All right, folks. Happy Saturday. <laughs> Robo Jets from Nintendo Prime. I want to thank you guys for tuning in. Be sure to enter our Nintendo Switch Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. A uh, smash bundle switch giveaway thingamajigger to the clean dot aisle down in the description. Oh man, it's been a fun weekend. I'm going to catch you guys in the next video.